are running late is it's going to be darker when we do our candlelight boogie. So I, I, I like that. Um, what I'm really feeling good about is look at how young Rebecca is. Our next speaker, look how young he is. I mean, this is the hope for our future here. <laughs> Carlos is from, I'm going to let Carlos tell you where he's from because I set my notes down, but he's a young warrior. Please welcome him. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Carlos. I represent the International Youth and Students for Social Equality and the Socialist Equality Party. The war on immigrants being conducted by the Trump administration must be stopped. Trump and his cabal of warmongers, fascists, and Wall Street gangsters have launched a campaign of terror against immigrants that threatens to repeat the most horrific crimes and atrocities of the 20th century. Yeah. 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 Refugees are turned away at the border in direct violation of international law. Concentration camps hold masses of immigrants in squalid, cramped, inhuman conditions. Disease runs rampant. Deaths are increasingly common. Children and babies cry for their parents while their young minds and bodies are brutally tortured by the fascistic guards. This weekend, in scenes reminiscent of 1938 Germany, thousands of armed police, backed by armored vehicles, drones, and helicopters, will storm into working class neighborhoods, breaking down doors, and snatching people from their homes and off the streets in the largest immigration raids in U.S. history. Oh! Millions of people around the country and the world are rightly horrified by these crimes against humanity and are demonstrating internationally in defense of immigrants and refugees. However, the fight to defend immigrants is not merely the fight against an individual like Trump or a single political party. It is the fight against a social and economic system, the system of capitalism. The source of all forms, the source of all forms of oppression, nationalist chauvinism, reaction, poverty, and war. Yeah. It was capitalism that brought forth the catastrophes of world war, fascism, and the Holocaust in the 20th century. And it is capitalism that is reviving these nightmares again in the 21st. Yeah. The fight to defend immigrants cannot be conducted outside of a fight to unite the international working class in a worldwide movement for socialism. A yeah. system based on using the vast resources of the world economy to meet the needs of every human being on the planet rather than the profit interests of billionaires and the financial elite. Yeah. 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 Such a movement must be opposed to all the parties of capitalism, including the Republicans and Democrats here in the U.S. Yes. Yeah. The Democratic Party politicians cry crocodile tears at Trump's concentration camps and then vote to fund them. They claim to support immigrants, then denounce foreign workers as the source of social misery. They pretend to care about the plight of refugees while supporting the imperialist wars that created the refugee crisis. The Democratic Party politicians have supported Trump's attacks on immigrants just as they supported Obama when he deported more immigrants than any other administration in U.S. history. We cannot waste, we cannot waste valuable time attempting to reform or pressure such an organization. We must instead build independent mass parties of the working class yes. that will fight to link up all of the workers' struggles into a powerful international movement for socialism. Yes. The fight to defend immigrants must be linked to the fight for health care, the fight for education, the yeah. fight for jobs and wages, yeah. the fight for democratic rights, yeah. the fight against war. Woo. Above all, this fight must be international in scope. The working class owes allegiance to no country. Our enemies are not the Mexican workers, 
not the Venezuelan workers, not the Iranian workers, the Chinese workers, or the Russian workers. These workers are our greatest allies in the common struggle against imperialism and capitalist exploitation. Close the camps! 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 The Socialist Equality Party and the International Youth and Students for Social Equality call for the immediate abolition of ICE, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency, and the Department of Homeland Security completely. Open the borders! We uphold the principle of open borders and the free movement of labor. We declare that the right of workers to live and work in whatever country they choose is an unalienable social right. We, che we reject a social order that allows capital to move freely around the world while workers, the producers of capital, are herded into cages like animals. I urge those of you in attendance today, please join the Socialist Equality Party. Read the World Socialist website. Take up the fight for the victory of the working class and the establishment of a new and truly humane society based upon the socialist principles of international solidarity and the equality of all humankind. Thank you. So the point for me is I don't care if you don't